Hey what's up everybody it's me Jake and in this video I'm gonna show you how I polished my motorcycle exhaust pipes with a simple hypochloric acid and a polishing machine. <clears throat> so without further ado sit back relax and enjoy the video. So I firstly disassembled the whole exhaust system starting at the muffler and slowly progressing towards the stainless steel pipes at the front. For the first attempt I'm gonna try to use this highly concentrated 30% hydrochloric acid to remove most of the oxide layer from the exhaust pipes. Be careful when using the acid and please wear gloves since this can really irritate your skin in direct contact. I also find out it's better to leave the acid a few minutes in the pipes so that most of the oxide layers could even react with the acid and see any noticeable difference. Ok, so now that we clean it with the hydrochloric acid, it's time to polish uh, the steel tubes with the polishing paste. I use the Pure Universal Polishing Paste, so I'm just gonna apply it a little bit on a steel tube and try to polish it as much as possible with a white cloth. Um, this should take you probably a little bit more time, so let's see if we can make some progress with that one. Okay, I think that's not too bad, but I think we're gonna do a better job with the rotating polishing machine. So let's jump down to the so let's jump down to the workshop. Okay, so I decided to change this polishing wheel with this one. Uh, actually, it's now on the left side because it's bigger and I get a lot more range when trying to polish these uh, stainless steel tubes. Okay, so now I changed the polishing paste, uh, this is a little bit more fine grade, so I think we should get a little bit more mirror look after we finish with polishing. Ok, I fast forwarded a little and here are finished parts all lined up on the floor, so now all I have to do is put everything back in place slowly and carefully. And here it is guys, fully assembled together. Compared to the old exhaust, it definitely looks really fresh and it just gave my MT-07 a whole new look. If you have any questions or thoughts, please leave a comment below and I hope I'll see you in the next video.